Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about COVID-19 that may be associated with erectile dysfunction, ED. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Have you recently lost your mojo in the bedroom? It could be due to one thing or rather, a virus. COVID-19 is a virus that infects people. While the respiratory virus COVID-19 causes loss of smell and taste, exhaustion, and difficulties breathing, erectile dysfunction, ED, is a side effect that affects men below the belt. Researchers and doctors are noticing a link between the virus and ED, according to Rahul Meehan, MD, a urologist at Banner Health in Mesa, Arizona. During the epidemic, Dr. Meehan's office saw a considerable increase in new ED patients, mainly younger men in their 40s and 50s with sexual dysfunction. Sexual dysfunction could be linked to the virus, because it creates a very high inflammatory reaction across our entire systems, from our hearts to our brains, Dr. Meehan added. We're still learning more about COVID-19's long-term sexual ramifications, but as a urologist, I'm concerned about what we've learned so far in terms of erectile dysfunction. COVID-19 and erectile dysfunction are linked. If you've recently undergone COVID-19 and are having trouble in the bedroom, Dr. Meehan has some suggestions for how COVID-19 might have affected your libido. Number 1. Damaged blood vessels in penis. Did you know that the penis contains some of the tiniest and most delicate blood vessels? They are important in giving blood flow to your reproductive organs, and assisting in erections, in addition to giving blood to the lower half of your body. COVID-19 can cause hyperinflammation in the body in some men, which can lead to tiny blood clots and inflammatory in the blood vessel lining. The blood supply to the penis might become obstructed, or constricted, making getting an erection more difficult. Number 2. Damaged cells in the testicles. Testosterone, which is also important for erections, is not immune to COVID-19's effects. COVID-19 has been linked to a reduction in testosterone levels, and male fertility in recent research. Dr. Meehan said that the COVID-19 virus infects cells with the help of a protein called ACE2, which is found in the testes. The virus infects the testes by using ACE2. Because here is where men make testosterone and sperm, it's possible that the virus will impact erections and fertility. One Italian study indicated that individuals who had recovered from COVID-19 had reduced testosterone levels. This serves as a reminder to men having new onset ed to get the hormones evaluated to ensure their testicles are working properly, according to Dr. Meehan. Number 3. Mental health impact. Most people have undoubtedly experienced some form of emotional pain as a result of isolation, social alienation, loss of relatives and friends, and financial difficulties. These alone could be enough to kill your desire for sex. Beyond that, persons recuperating from the virus particularly, long haulers, who are still experiencing symptoms or side effects may be particularly vulnerable to ED. Dr. Meehan stated, sexual activity is significantly connected with mental health. You have to have your head in the game to have optimal sexual function. Number 4. Burden on overall poor health. ED is usually an indication of a more serious underlying issue. If you're already in poor health, you're more likely to develop ED and, as a result, be at risk for severe COVID-19 and other long-term health issues. COVID-19 has the potential to harm the heart and exacerbate pre-existing cardiovascular disorders such as myocarditis, arrhythmias, and acute cardiovascular events, as well as cause a slew of other problems. Men may be put on new medications as a result of these, which can have a negative impact on their sexual function. Erectile dysfunction treatment. With COVID-19 already having such a significant impact on our everyday life, the possibility of ED as a side effect can be devastating for some guys. Before turning to a blue pill or other aids if you've recovered from COVID-19 and are experiencing ED, talk to your doctor or urologist first. Your doctor can assist you in determining the reason of your ED and provide some treatment options. Dr. Meehan stated, simply ordering a pill online may not be the proper response, and we really need to go deeper and look at all the aspects. Just because you have erectile dysfunction doesn't mean you're out of the game. We can certainly assist, and we, now have incredible new therapy choices for all men, regardless of severity. We can assist you in improving your sexual function. The best approach to avoid the effects of COVID-19 is to be vaccinated and wear a mask. Getting vaccinated against COVID-19 is one approach to reduce your chance of negative effects. Because there's no proof that the COVID-19 vaccination causes, or worsens, ED, you should get your dose as soon as it's available. 
Keep in mind Benjamin Franklin's maxim, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, Dr. Meehan advised. Along with having your immunization, continue to follow the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, guidelines and do everything you can to stop the virus from spreading. That's because we're still learning about the virus's long-term impacts a year after the outbreak began. The effects of the virus on human bodies as a whole, as well as on men's sexual and reproductive health, are being studied. Survivorship of COVID-19 may be linked to erectile dysfunction, according to researchers, ED. According to the study, there are three elements that can contribute to the emergence of ED in males who have had the virus. Effects on the arteries. We know that the vascular system and the reproductive system are linked because erectile function is a predictor of heart disease. COVID-19 has also been linked to hyperinflammation throughout the body, particularly in the heart and surrounding muscles. As a result of a new or worsening vascular disease induced by the virus, blood supply to the penis can become stopped or constricted. Impact on the mind. Sexual activity and mental health are inextricably linked. The viruses and pandemic stress, worry, and despair have been related to sexual dysfunction and low mood. The state of one's health is deteriorating. ED is usually an indication of a more serious issue. Men in poor health are more likely to acquire ED as well as have a strong reaction to COVID-19. Because the infection can induce a variety of health problems, poor overall health is a cause for concern, both in terms of ED and other complications. According to urologist Ryan Berglund, MD, erectile dysfunction can be a sign of general health. This can be an indication of something more serious going on, especially for young and healthy persons who acquire erectile dysfunction suddenly, especially after using COVID-19. Another source of concern about the study is the possibility of testicular injury as a result of infection with COVID-19. It's too soon to say whether the harm is permanent or transitory or whether it will influence fertility. Age is also an issue to consider because it is a risk factor for both ED and a severe case of COVID-19. There have been studies that demonstrate that COVID-19 may have cardiovascular and other medical impacts, but the answer is that it is just too early to say what all of the long-term implications are, explains Dr. Berglund. We know that the virus can cause erectile dysfunction in a variety of ways, but further research is needed before we can be certain. We're still learning about the virus's long-term effects. Dr. Berglund claims that we're only now beginning to comprehend the virus's long-term implications, which include blood clots, neurological difficulties, heart, lung, and kidney problems, and now, detrimental effects on men's sexual and reproductive health. Many individuals, known as long haulers, experience symptoms for months despite having previously superb health. This study is yet another example of not understanding enough about the virus's long-term effects, Dr. Berglund says. We'll need more time and investigation until we have a clearer understanding. That's why it's critical to stick to safety precautions, get vaccinated when you're eligible, and safeguard people around you. According to one study, those who were infected with the virus were five times more likely to have ED. Researchers obtained penis tissue samples from two males, who had been infected with COVID-19 in another small trial. One had severe symptoms, while the other had very minor ones. Both guys had surgery for severe ED symptoms before the samples were obtained. Long after the two men had their illnesses, the scientists discovered COVID-19 virus particles and endothelium dysfunction. It's still too early to tell what the virus's long-term impact on sexual and reproductive health will be. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.